Hi guys, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm not exactly a YouTuber. I tend to post videos that I enjoy making about aspects of my life that I'm excited about. So I have not posted in a while. It doesn't mean that my life has not had any excitement. But I have been focused on other things like growing my business, um, really trying to kick butt in my 9 to 5, focusing on my family, achieving certain little financial goals that I had in place. And so making a YouTube video was kind of put on the back burner. That's reality, right? So I today I celebrated my husband's birthday. His birthday was actually yesterday, but today is a national holiday in Jamaica. It's Ash Wednesday. And I decided since it's the day after his birthday, we would postpone the celebration of his birthday to today because I had work yesterday and he also had work. So what I decided to do was to do a little picnic, right? An indoor picnic. I converted my dining room space into a picnic space. And I just wanted to share that with you guys in a very... Um, in a very vloggy style, but a voiceover vloggy style. So I hope you guys will enjoy it and perhaps it's ideas that you can adapt at um, for your own self to celebrate a loved one or just to do as a little date night inside or a treat for the kids. Enjoy um, and like, share, subscribe. I have another video that is coming up soon. So my husband's birthday um was yesterday and my birthday is actually next week Tuesday and I'll be celebrating the big 4-0. Now I have work on my birthday but the Saturday following my birthday I'm heading to the Dominican Republic with two of my closest friends and my sisters. So I know I'm going to be doing some vlogging. I, sh I would post a video in terms of a pack with me video um, and I'll also post some vlogs. I won't be vlogging all the time because I really want to enjoy my time with the girls. But I will be doing some amount of vlogging and I will see if I can share that video as well. So if you're not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe. Please hit the thumb up. Leave a comment. It works with the algorithm and you guys can see I have basically no subscribers. So anything you do will help our sister out. Stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so I didn't film me taking up all the chairs and my dining table that I stashed in my living room. But the first thing that I did was to clear the dining room space in order to convert it to my indoor picnic area. I have a grill, I brought a grill into the kitchen just so I can, you know, use it easily. This is the base of my picnic. It's actually a beach mat. Then I got on Amazon for, I think it was 30 something dollars. It's a smaller than the rug, but not to mine. This is my picnic table. That was a gift from Johan and Andrew, my friends. They were migrating and wanted to give it to someone who they knew would make use of it. So, hey guys, I'm making use of it. And then this is some of the base for my picnic design, my cushions. Um, this is a runner that I bought here at a store. Called Fontana it was I think about one thousand something dollars those are cushions out of my living room these are my everyday mats that I use on my dining table anyway and this is kind of like the base where I'm so far this I'm going to be using for my meats and my carbs for the main course that will have some some form of dessert um, this too will have some form of dessert well, actually, the first one I just showed will have a charcuterie board, and this also will have some dessert. So that's the base. Um, food time. So I'm doing lobster. I'm going to be doing some jerk pork kebabs, some beef kebabs, some shrimp kebabs. Yeah, it's a protein fest. So it's pork, beef, shrimp, and lobster. I'm soaking my skewers. That's a tip I learned from my friend Chris in Connecticut and then this is where I'm, I'm at so far um, yep mm. popping it in the oven covered with a foil for a few minutes before I put them on the grill this is me doing my version of strawberry um, or chocolate coated strawberry as a dessert I must add that this was actually the, my, my kids favorite part because they really enjoyed this um, yep 
So I put my love for to boil a little bit. We just put some green onions and spot on it. My mac and cheese. This is my mac and cheese casserole. This was really good. That's homemade breadcrumb. So the beef is out of the oven. I'm assembling the squares. And then I'll grill it for probably 5 to 10 minutes. Nothing more than that. Yep. So now everything is assembled and ready to be grilled but first let me just take the casserole out of the oven it's looking yummy and it tasted yummy now everything is on my grill all my proteins i also added my um breadsticks to the top layer of the grill but i don't have a clip of that but you'll see a clip of the breadsticks in that reveal video so here it is guys, this is the setup, here are my strawberries that have been dipped with chocolate, these are some dessert, that brown macaroon is actually espresso filled, um, and it's hazelnut and chocolate and it was made by a local baker here called Daniel Fisher and she's really really amazing, um, it literally melts in your mouth, there you can see the bird six peeping out um and that's my main course platter my pork was a little bit overdone but it was looked overdone on the outside but it was actually really soft that's the charcuterie board and that little pouch thing is some cocktails by lady bees who's also a entrepreneur here in jamaica that makes the most amazing cocktails so here it is guys that was how it looked without the food that's after the food little film and outro so enjoy these picks lady bee cocktails array of desserts chocolate dipped strawberries charcuterie board my first attempt at a charcuterie board the main course that's it enjoy